following the resignation of President Yoon's national security adviser, Kim Sung-hun. His replacement, Cho Tae-yong, began his tenure this morning with less than a month to the South Korea-U.S. summit. Our presidential office correspondent, Kim do yeon has what this means. President Yoon sung yeols newly appointed national security adviser, Cho Tae-yong, said he feels great responsibility as he takes on the role at such a critical time. This came as he started his new role on Thursday. I believe the Yoon administration has laid a good foundation for its goal of Korea becoming a global pivotal state. My role will be to build on that foundation to finish the goal of the Yoon administration. Cho emphasized that to achieve this goal, the whole presidential office, not only the National Security Office, has to work together as one team. His appointment was announced just moments after National Security Advisor Kim Sung-han had resigned on Wednesday, and so the position that oversees the nation's overall policy in diplomacy and security was only vacant for a brief moment. The change of National Security Advisor comes less than a month before President Yoon's state visit to the U.S. While there's a lot on Joe's plate with little time left, Cho offers extensive experience in Seoul-Washington relations. In fact, Cho served as Yoon's first ambassador to the U.S. and had the role of speaking on behalf of South Korea while Washington was working on passing its Inflation Reduction Act and Chips and Science Act. Before that, he entered politics as a lawmaker for the ruling People Power Party, sitting on the Parliament's Foreign Affairs and Unification Committee, as he had served as former President Park Geun-hye's deputy director of the Office of National Security and served as a first vice foreign minister. He also has participated as Seoul's representative in the Six Party Talks in 2013, an effort by nations in the region to stop North Korea's nuclear development process. In the meantime, President Yoon appointed his first vice minister of the Foreign Affairs Ministry, Cho Yeon-dong, as his new ambassador to the U.S. According to a foreign ministry official, the process of the U.S. accepting a new top diplomat takes a few weeks with no clear set time, but given that the summit is coming up, the process could be expedited. Kim Do-yeon, Arirang News.